What it do, flight crew? FTC. Flight team stand up. We have. Try not to get scared. Top 15 scary school lockdown videos, bro. Fam. Tell you, bro. You know, one thing is, is just like having to go to school, learning things you're not going to use five to ten years, you know what I'm saying, from that time, but 2% of what they teach you. Um, and then the other half is that you got to also, like, keep in mind that there is some crazy, you know what I'm saying, people out there, you know? And, you know, sometimes if you ever have a situation, you know what I'm saying, comment down below if you ever been on lockdown when you was in school. Um, been on, like, a couple lockdowns I can remember. The only craziest lockdown I remember is back when I was in elementary school. Uh, there was, like, a shooting, like, not too far from, like, the campus. So, like, they shut it down. But it had nothing to do with, like, the school. It was, like, something else, like, close because the school was, like, close to, like, you know what I'm saying, like, neighborhoods and shit. So, like... That was the only one. Other ones was just like practice. Like they would just put you in lockdown just for practice. Like, um, you know, uh, middle school and the high school ones, like, and then nothing else. Like they'll, I, I don't know how did they do it where y'all was at. Um, they would make you like, sometimes like, it depends what type of lockdown there is. Like if they have it to where you just like, everybody stays in class type of lockdown. Like somebody is like some like intruder or whatever on campus type of lockdown practice. They usually make you stay in a class and hide under your desk or some shit like that. But if it's like a tornado practice lockdown or like some crazy natural disaster lockdown, I think they're usually supposed to make you go out in the hallways and then like duck your head out and everything like that. But imagine you actually having a lockdown, you know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all be safe out there, everybody, you know what I'm saying? Like be around your surroundings, you know? Uh, but we got top 15 scary lockdown videos. Let's check it out. Not responsible for jump scares or anything. Number I know it's 15. late. Stoneman SWAT team. This video is from the events at Stoneman High School. As frightened students wait in the darkened classroom, a SWAT team bursts in, flashlights shining in their faces. As they bear down on the students, the police order them to put their hands in the air and put their phones away. The this fuck? is where the clip ends as the user follows orders. Still, the short clip of the aftermath shows us a brief glimpse at the fear and terror the students must feel during such an event. Hands, 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 hands. Bro, to the right, you can see a student trembling as you can hear fearful utterances. As I'm going to hear for what reason, enters. though. Number 14. He didn't say for what reason, but it might like, the like, what grade are those kids in, bro? Like, Bro, this isn't Call of Duty Cold War, bro. Like, why? <laughs> this isn't necessary. I need to see the backstory of this, but. To the right, you can see a student's arms trembling as you can hear fearful utterances as the SWAT team enters. Number 14. What happened? Staten Island. When Staten Island threats spread like wildfire. Hard lockdown. The Staten Island acting High stupid School. air life. Susan E. Wagner in Manor Heights. The school went on lockdown. Damn, during lunch. For police to investigate the matter. As the student video shows, the place then developed into utter chaos. Oh my God. As students wondered what was going on, here's what happened. A student overheard another student claiming that there was a gun in the locker room. Once school administrators were alerted to the matter, the place was put on hard lockdown, allowing police to inspect every floor of the building. They came away empty handed. The threat was never found. The claim was likely just a boast or a fear mongering tactic. If it was the latter, it worked to incite fear into the students. The video shows the lockdown in action. As we the got police the searched option, for the suspected bro. weapon, oh, no. parents rushed to the school when they heard about the lockdown in order to pick up their frightened kids, some of whom had no idea where to go during the event. Numerous phone calls were made from these students to warn parents about what was going on and even to say goodbye should anything awful happen. City Councilman Steve Mateo declared that everyone was safe and once police cleared the school, Students were let out for the day. Number 13. 13. Rio de Janeiro. 
Caught on video huh? in Rio de Janeiro, this event occurred at Escola Municipal by yet again another former student. The man was a 23 year old who was allowed to enter the school at the beginning of the day by claiming he was invited to give a lecture. Instead, he was armed. He entered a classroom and took the lives of 12 children. Why? The school into lockdown with teachers telling students Why? to beneath their desks as they blocked the doors of their classrooms. The video shows students fleeing as the man launches his attack. They are seen rushing down a hallway and out of the school. Military police surgeon Marcio Alves said that when he arrived at the school, he found the suspect on the second floor exiting a classroom. The man aimed at police, was hit, fell to the ground, and then took his own life. The man had a letter on his person, which declared his mission, and asked to be buried next to his adopted mother. Number 12, SWAT code red lockdown, children hiding under their desks, teachers poised at the door. Oh my gosh. signs of a school on lockdown, all students and staff awaiting rescue. You can hear the children's whispers and panicked breathing as they are huddled in fear. Screaming is heard outside the classroom door, coupled with shouts from the SWAT team. This is becoming an all too familiar scene in this video of a SWAT team entering the classroom during a code red lockdown at a school in Illinois paints the picture of what it's like to be in the student's position Bracing oneself for horrors beyond our comprehension. Number 11, Stoneman SWAT Team Part 2. Yet another video of the Parkland events has surfaced. And this one again shows a SWAT team entering a classroom to release the students. The group is seen sitting in a corner of the classroom. A commotion is heard outside and the teacher rushes to the door, likely to open it for the SWAT team. Once they enter, the students can be heard shouting, please help us, and the teacher tries to quiet everyone down to hear orders from the police. That's when one of the officers asks the first 10 people to stand up, and failing to listen, everyone gets up in a rush to get out as quickly as possible. You can't blame them. Going through what they had, Panicking is understandable. Number 10, Ocala's Forest High School. This intense body cam video shows Sky Boucher, a 19 year old former student of Forest High School in Ocala, Florida, being held as a suspect. Face down on the ground, he answers the officer's questions while the tape rolls. Boucher was charged when he entered the school with a guitar case. Concealing a sawed-off shotgun, Boucher stopped by a bathroom to put on a tactical vest and gloves. Then he went to a classroom and fired one round through the door, leaving a single student hurt. Boucher apologized to the student he shot, saying what? it doesn't make it better anyway. And he was right, it doesn't get better. The sheriff's the office fuck? stated that the suspect confessed Hey, man, make sure y'all y'all be careful in school, man. Real talk, man. I'm just like, I feel blessed to be put in the position to, you know, bring awareness to, you know, you know, other people to, you know, make sure to look out for things like this, bro. Somebody could have just been chilling, doing their thing, trying to get good grades and just go on about their day in life, bro. And it's just randomly happening. Bro, this dude ran in there like he was late to class. You would have never known, bro. Like. Investigators that he planned to commit a worse event on April 3rd. Like, look, bro, he looked like he like just he just heard the bell or, or the bell about the ring. He just run in the class. He just looked normal, bro. You know what I'm saying? He just looks like a normal geek running the fucking class, bro. And you don't even know what the fuck, like. Boucher made the purchase from a private online seller. Shortly after what happened in Parkland, Florida, he saw doing this as his only way out of his rough home life. Luckily, the sheriff's deputy blocked things from getting worse. He just so happened to be a resource officer at Forest High School and managed to arrest Boucher without further incident. Number nine, in hiding. 
In this video, you can see students hiding beneath their desks in a darkened classroom as the teacher explains what to do. About four minutes into the video, a female voice is heard over the intercom requesting that whoever has a student by the name of Jacob Peterson should email them immediately so they can come get him. After this cryptic message is heard, another announcement is made a minute later, ordering everyone to remain in their rooms. The announcer also says they are not letting anyone into or off of the campus. Another minute later, and the announcer declares the lockdown is over, saying students and staff are now safe to move around campus. Again, the school and or the purpose of this lockdown was not detailed in the YouTube video. But this serves as another illustration of what just such an event feels like from the perspective of a scared student, number eight, intruder or student. Still, with all the precautionary measures in schools, sometimes these measures are not enough. Sometimes the bad guys She's break through running. and a school might go into lockdown because of it. That's what happened at Kentwood High School in December of 2014 when a suspect fled police custody and sought refuge at a nearby high school. The man was handcuffed and when the school went into lockdown, as police searched for him, he was mistaken for a student and placed in an office along with two female students. Well, it might sound a bit crazy, mistaking a runaway suspect who just happens to be handcuffed for a student. The escapee was only 19 and actually used to be a Kentwood student. Bro, this so man hit you saying bold, man. When he fled the cops, the video shows the suspect too, bro. onto the campus, and when inside the building, he attempts to remove his jacket as he runs. He is later seen in surveillance video racing down the hallways of the school. Once there, he told the two female students inside that the school was on lockdown because of him. He asked that they phone his mom up for him. Three more students were soon pulled into the office. And although the suspect was with them for upwards of 10 minutes, he never threatened or intimidated them. Instead, he told them what was going on and asked them for help. Number seven, not a drill. Manic Jordan published this video of her school lockdown in February of 2017. Writing, so when we were about to leave, the announcement went off and it said, this is not a drill, we're in lockdown. In the video, you can see the student is sitting under her desk, filming the incident, awaiting directions on what to do next. As many in the comments wrote, the teacher in this video is particularly impressive, being completely calming and protective of the students telling them she will go down before letting the intruders get at them. One commenter, Cheryl Battle, wrote, This is the lady that you want to be with when this happens. I couldn't agree more. Number six, Locked Outside. Hydra Clan 100 published this video in February of 2013 writing, I was outside of my school when this was happening. As he narrates in his video, he was sitting in his car outside his school when he saw police charging in. Police sirens can be heard in the background as the armed officers enter the school. There's like 20 cop cars here. The uploader thinks it's likely that another student brought a weapon to school, which wouldn't be a stretch of the imagination as a dozen or so cop cars can be seen in the area. Although it's not stated what school this is or what could have been going down to invite all these armed police to rush in, it's certain that this kid was not going back to school that day. Number five, Sarah High School. When a bang was heard near the Sarah High School campus, the school was placed on lockdown. It's believed that this was related to two people who were seen taking copper wire from a construction site to the north side of the campus prompting a witness to report the incident to the school who called police. 
In the video, the students can be seen chatting and wrestling around a darkened room, loud as can be. They don't seem to be afraid of the circumstances or of being in a state of lockdown. While well, some students tell others to hush up, there is talking at a loud volume throughout the video. Luckily, no one was harmed in the making of this video or during the lockdown. The suspects fled the scene when police arrived and managed to escape without capture, after which the lockdown was lifted. Although this could have ended much more poorly, yeah. this 17 minute video might serve future students as a cautionary tale of what not to do in the event of a lockdown. Number four, hard lockdown. What happens when your school is placed on hard lockdown? Watch this and you'll see. The video published by Chase G in September of 2016 starts off school with about an announcement of the hard three lockdown o'clock. over the intercom. Who's on hard lockdown and to check the hall for students. Lock your door. Stop. Safeguard the students and remain secured in your room. Okay. During the announcement, the teacher calmly tells some of the students to get up and move their desks. Then, in an orderly fashion, the students are asked to move to the far tables and the lights are turned out. The students wait in silence for what happens next. In a low voice, the teacher explains the evacuation plan to the students if they are called to evacuate. While the video isn't as high intensity as some of the others in this list, it demonstrates what children as young as these kids are must worry about in present day America. Number three, drop to the ground. This video shows what it's like to be burst in on by police. Although the video cuts out for most of the 37 seconds of the recording, the audio is frightening enough. Fuck your hands, your hands. Hands, hands. As the video begins, you see children hiding behind a desk or table turned on its side likely a barricade from whatever or whomever lies beyond. Then the video goes dark as police enter the classroom and order everyone to show their hands. This is when the camera is dropped. Still, even without video, you can vividly imagine armed police busting in, dressed in black, ordering everyone to drop to the ground. You can hear a scuffle as police overturn things, although you cannot see what is happening. The events that led to this is a mystery, as the video doesn't describe it in detail, but whatever it was, it's safe to say it wasn't pretty. Number 2. Manchester Sukai Wolf published this lockdown video in September of 2017. At the beginning of the video, an alarm is sounding off, and the students can be seen hiding under their desks. While the details of this lockdown were not posted in the video, it is believed to have occurred at Swinton High School in Manchester. It was there that a 16-year-old boy was arrested on September 22, 2017. The same day the video was posted, the boy was arrested after a 17-year-old was knifed and rushed to a nearby hospital. The suspect was later taken into custody at the school. Chief Inspector Glenn Jones gave a statement saying, it is only fortunate that his injuries are not considered to be life-threatening. I know that this news will cause concern to people living in the area, particularly people with children at the school. Jones went on to reassure the community that a full investigation had been launched and the school was cooperating with the investigation. The short video is alarming. As you can imagine what must be going through these children's heads as they await further instruction. Before we get to number one, my name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying my narration. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. It's a proven fact that generosity makes you a happier person. So if you're generous enough to hit that subscribe button and the bell beside it, then thank you. This way you'll be notified of the new video we upload every Tuesday. Number one, Tuesday. <laughs> Parkland. This video shows the horrific events that occurred on February 14th, 2018. Unfolding in the drama department, 
just after 19-year-old Nicholas Cruz was on the other side of the doors. Cruz had been suspended, but was dropped off at the school by an Uber in the afternoon. He was wearing a backpack and carrying a duffel bag. When a staff member saw him striding purposefully towards Building 12 and alerted a colleague via radio, a code red lockdown was activated when a staff member heard the gunfire. In the video, you can see students huddled with their teacher in a dark corner of the room, perhaps a closet as police enter. After they break through the classroom's door window to gain access, you can hear the teacher telling her students to relax, breathe, then follow police's instructions. Relax, relax everybody. Relax. This is the police. So put your hands up and just calm. Be as calm as you can. They enter drawn as the students are told to put their hands up and get down on the floor. The SWAT team was likely searching for Cruz, but when they entered the school that day, he was long gone. No motive has been put forth by police or prosecutors, but Cruz's pattern of disciplinary issues and unnerving behavior warranted investigation. Meanwhile, Cruz will now most likely spend the rest of his life behind bars. Thanks Damn. for checking out this. Hey, man, that's gonna cap it up, man. Um, RIP definitely than anybody that had lost their lives during these school lockdowns, man. It's just, uh, you know, crazy. Make sure you guys always be around your surroundings, man, and be safe out there. Because you may coming out of the last regiment, man, on the road. Three, 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 three.